Okay, I bought this Kenwood DDX6705S car stereo. I'm gonna put it in my 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Here's all my wiring. It looks like a mess, it really isn't. It's the harness that plugs into the car. This is the Honda wiring adapter. Um, we got to maintain the steering wheel controls, maintain the backup camera. Everything is uh, connected. I'm just gonna tape this up just to keep it a secure connection. There's three wires that have to be hardwired to the car. Car. This one I already labeled. It goes to pin 23. This one goes to pin 11. This goes to the reverse wire, which is the blue and um, I'll sorry, the purple with the white stripe. I actually made a chart, but I'm kind of anal like that. I made a chart that shows exactly where all my connections go, and I will attach it to the video on a PDF file. Um, this is the trim kit. I put the radio in. The only thing that bothers me, if you look right here, there's a little bit of a gap here, and there's a slight gap here. If Metra made this a quarter inch smaller, it would have been much, much better, but... They're telling me once it's in the car, you won't see the gap. But right now, there's light coming through behind it. But in the dashboard, there will be no light. So I'm going to start doing the car in just a minute. All right, so step number one, we're going to remove the driver's side end cap. Just put the tool in, pry it, and pull. And next, it. we're going to pull out this uh, kneecap piece here, is what they call it. Let it hang. Next is the passenger side end cap. Okay, now we're going to pry this piece off here. This is the part with the airbag light. let it hang. All right, next we're going to remove three filled screws. One, two, and three. Okay, those three screws are out. Now we're just going to pry this piece off here. And I'm just going to pull these out of the way. Okay, next there's two 8 millimeter screws, one here, one down here. They're actually what holds the radio on. You don't have to take them out, just loosen them. I use a little ratcheting wrench. I find it easy to stick my finger from underneath just to hold it in place. Once they're loose, you're going to pry all this off. I prefer to use a little piece of cardboard just to protect the vinyl.
on the back of the radio. There's five harnesses. Just push the button, pull them out one at a time. Take this out. This one has a little lever. You have to flip it. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. That one's on the side. It's your radio harness. Um, this is your UPS. This is your antenna. Okay, so I just ran the microphone for the new stereo. I just put it right here, fed it through, and then I tied up the excess, and that's going to plug into the back of the radio where it says mic. Very simple. Okay, so I'm using this adapter. This is to retain the USB port. Just going to plug it right on the USB plug, and this will go into the back of the new stereo. Okay, so I got everything connected now. Here's your video, your antenna, the wiring harness, this um, maintain the camera backup. Everything's here. Here's the uh, Metro unit. So I'm gonna put the radio in place and start the car and see what happens. Okay, so I just wanted to point something out real quick. I tried those Posse Clips uh, adapters to uh, connect the wires, uh, pin 11, pin 22, pin 23. Didn't like them, they weren't making contact. The wires are just too small. So what I did was I added extra wires into the harness. What I wound up doing, I ran out and I bought another harness. It was to another vehicle, but it didn't matter. All I did was pull real tight on the wire and the pin came out and I stuck it in this harness where pins 11, 22, 23 go. Connected the wires to it. That's all you need to do. Um, you don't have to hardwire anything other than one wire, which is the reverse wire. And um, that's for the camera. Everything else uh, gets connected to the connector, the connectors. This is to maintain USB. Uh, Crutchfield will tell you that you cannot maintain USB. It's like, I forget how much it was, like $8 adapter. It plugs right into the harness right here. And then plugs into the USB and the stereo. And then uh, you don't need the USB extension cord because you can just use the existing car one. And it works. The only thing I got to do now is figure out where the reverse wire is. And then I'm good to go. Okay, so the reverse wire is hooked up. I can't even put my finger in here to point, but it's that brown wire right there. I connected it, and that was it. That was the only wire that had to be hardwired. The rest of it was hooked up to the harnesses. And um, again, the brown wire is the reverse wire, and this green connector is right above the fuse panel. And despite everything you read online, it's the brown wire, not the green. Okay, so now everything's working. Steering wheel controls. They're working. Backup camera. I just wanted to point this out to you. If you put it in reverse and nothing happens, if you hit the little camera icon, put the car in reverse, and it works, the problem is here. Go into settings, camera, rear camera interruption. By default, it's off. Turn that on. Get out of it, go back to the home key. Now every time you put the car in reverse, there it is, and it's working fine. So everything's working. And again, the only wire that had to be hardwired to the existing car is that brown wire, which is the reverse wire. Everything else fit into the harnesses. So hope that helped you guys, because uh, it was a lot of frustration for me trying to figure everything out as I went along. Again, I'm just an amateur with do-it-yourself, but the uh, local audio place wanted over $800, and I did it myself for eh, about $400. So take care.